getting into this kind of trouble. But there they were, standing against evil wherever it popped up. <laughs> oh, I agree. The First Order would not like that. Yeah, yeah, I guess that story got us into quite the scrape, huh? <laughs> but you know what, kid? <laughs> I doubt again. Right, sons. Vimerati here. Word amongst those in the know is you went and blew up a perfectly good brainwashing station today. And for that, you've earned my thanks. Repio says you're quite the inspiration. Now, the rest of your story is up to you to write, but just know, our door's always open. Sure, the resistance might sound enticing, but don't discount a career in relic hunting. It's not partners or anything, it's just... Now you could use company. Oh, there he is! Look who's back to their old self! Wow! Huh, kid? Gosh, we really almost f***ed ourselves on that one. As you can see, the deprogramming took, and his brain has been restored to its original, questionable state. Eliminated. It's our side. What? Not the time. He is quite mad. Run! <laughs> Not that way. No, 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 no! He cut off the only way to the power core! Now move before the drill fire! <coughs> Doors, it doesn't look like you can make it to the power core, but there's still a chance. 
Yes, with R2's help, I have discovered a construction debris chute that runs adjacent to the power core. If you are able to deliver the gas, I drop the Tabana gas in there, and boom! Transferring the location now. that? Come on. There's got to be more. Shut up. We have to stay focused. You can use the all kit. Zap his repulsor gurney and get out of there! Uh, yeah, they do this thing that takes away my worst headaches. 
I sure does it give me the headaches. I don't remember. Anyway, I got five good eyes, and they're open every single one of them. My friend, would you be kind enough to ask Caesar Slack if he's heard what the word around the mess hall is on coaxium schedules? Not now, Hondo. Invited to their Sabak game now. LP! LP! No, he's dead. Whoa, that was close. Getting close. Almost out. Cecil, that story you were telling must have really heated the First Order. Do you remember what it was? Oh, yeah. I was telling a story, you know. I suppose it about... Let's see. Um, you know, I can't remember. Uh, my head is really foggy. Hey, 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 hold on, okay, please, can we hold on for a second, please? Cecil, are you okay? You're almost home free. I don't know, leaving just doesn't feel like what they'd want me to do. They're my friends, my white-helmeted friends. Cecil Slack, you weak-minded fool. We're trying to help you. We're your friends, not them. here. Stun the big one. Oh, and they got me too. <laughs> Probably for my own good. The broken blender. What will he mix with now?
There is a first order behind us. Why? What was that? Someone should open it. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Thank you for freeing me. Hondo! Hey, Hondo, now. Two sports solutions, Hondo. You weren't there the whole time? What happens out here? I love your curious mind, Mubo. It seems that uh, Cecil Slack <coughs> was telling a story to some of the patrons. A story the First Order did not like. What was it? Well, I don't know. But they most certainly disagreed with it. Some stormtroopers came in, threats were made, but our large friend would not back down. <clears throat> Until they stunned him. He snapped the first pair of restraints they put him in, and then stun. At least that's what I heard from my strategic audio observation spot. Doc, the First Order, they took Cecil Slack. I've heard. He may already be on his way to an off-world labor camp. We must infiltrate the comm center the First Order is building. Slicing a data terminal there might be our only chance of discovering his destination. I am afraid it is very heavily guarded. Hart and I recently attempted to perform surveillance on the facility. We were rudely rebuffed. Uh, but uh, how do we get in? I have it. No more brows furrowed in worry. The First Order have a shipment of parts coming in, handled by Onaka Transport <laughs> Solutions. One of you can stow away <coughs> in a container. Special <coughs> delivery. You stood against the Guavian Death Gang when they captured R2. Surely we can count on you now. Oh, wonderful. An excellent choice. And I hope you're not opposed to cramped spaces. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, it's not like I'm selling you to the First Order in some sort of double cross.
a release of frustration and rage. Those are not the tools of a Jedi. Maybe I brought you here too early. No, wait, Master! You brought me here for a lesson. I'll just watch and learn. We can push through like Master Sylwyn said. That's the point, right? I suppose it is, Padawan. There we have it. Not a lesson in strength, a lesson in restraint. You see, it's not just about defense. It's also about patience. Being... ...settled before determining whether combat is even called for. Being focused. It could mean sparing the life of another. Or maybe saving your own. You're good at this, Master. Well, I wasn't always. And you'll get better, too. You see, it's not just about defense. It's also about patience. Being... Holes. It's why we're here. This is where you'll take some of your first steps of really listening to the Force and letting it speak through you. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is what I wanted. Now hold on, Padawan. Remember, a Jedi... Mm -hmm. I remember. Master Sylwyn let me fail in front of her again and again.
You were right. They're actually beautiful. I was kind of afraid of them at first. You shouldn't fear something just because it's unusual to you. Fear, anger, hate, suffering, they all lead to the dark side. finished. That worked. Not too bad.
Well, I guess I'm a bit rusty. It's a good thing we came here. <laughs> All finished. <laughs> 